last, in the last video, I talked about doing colors inside of a class tag. Now, why would I do colors inside of a class tag? Because now I can have flexibility. Eventually, these rules are going to be tied to an external style sheet. So I don't want to have five body tags and five strong tags. I simply want to have the external rules for those tags. So if I hard code, as an example, if I physically go to the side tag called testimonials, and I give this a physical background color. In fact, there's a little preview here. We're going to sample this color from right here. We're going to sample the exact color on the page. That's how we can sample colors from the web palette that we created inside the original video. So if you apply this, now important step here, this is physically tied to this aside tag. I don't want to do that. I want to assign this to a class tag. This way, the page itself can have flexibility when creating my site. So eventually, this page is going to be turned into a template. We're going to basically tie it to the same external style sheets. So I don't want to assign the class, I'm sorry, I don't want to assign the color to the, to the div tag or the HTML tag. I want to assign it to the class tag. So here's a simple, simple, simple time-tested way to do this. We're going to create a series of class tags from scratch. There's nothing to select. We're going to click CSS rules. Okay. Now, class tags, class tags start with a period. Now, you can simply just go to class itself by itself. Now, if you click here and you don't use class, you can use compound, but then you have to put in the period symbol. I prefer to use this because it gets you to think about a class tag. Class tags are defined and class tags are assigned. Now, unfortunately, most web developers that don't know what they're doing, they overuse the class tags. Instead of using the HTML tags, they use a gazillion class tags when it's not necessary. In this particular case, it's very, very functional. So we're going to say period. We're going to call this a, a, a site color. So let's call this a, a site color. Now, I'm specifically calling it a site color and not site color A. And I'll explain that later. Now, since we're dealing with dark colors here, we want to make our typeface be white. So we're going to sample this first color right here. Let's just basically make a color palette that reflects these blue colors. So I'm going to sample this color. That's going to be my first color called A site color. Now, class tags should appear after the HTML tags, but before the wrapper tag. Okay, so that's just kind of a procedural technique that I use to great benefit. So now, how do we create the other colors for this blue color scheme? Okay, now if you want to call this a color blue, therefore you can have different versions of blue, then I suggest that because we can have color schemes for blue, color schemes for orange, color schemes for pur or yellow, uh, purple, and orange. We're just going to do the blue colors right now. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that. Control key, control key, pop up menu, duplicate this. So let's call this one. Now, here's a cool technique here. I'm going to take this word and I'm going to copy it. Because again, I don't like to reinvent the wheel here. We're going to call this B color. Now, B color, double click, is simply going to be the other colors. We're going to pick this, this color. That's going to be the B color. Then I'm going to control key, control key, or right click Mac Windows, right click Windows, control key. Macintosh, let's say period C, paste, copy, paste, the oldest trick in the book. I don't have to reinvent the wheel here, guys. So make this C color, period C color. Period C color is going to be double quick. We're going to go to our color palette. We're going to sample this next color. So again, control key, pop up menu, or right click Windows, 
we're going to call this period D paste. Double click and let's make this a final blue color. So if you scroll through this, I have my darker color, my darkest color, my light color, and my other blue color. So these are the colors we're going to use to build our site. Okay, so again, this color palette, I can set any color. I can take a photo, place a photo, and sample the colors inside of there. It's a very, very simple time-tested process I've been using for 25 years to sample colors way before the web back in the Adobe Illustrator days, okay? So how do we implement this? Now I can go and assign classes are defined, classes are defined, so get this vocabulary into your head. Classes are defined and classes are assigned. So what we did was simply define what this class does. Now we're going to assign it to something. So I can select the header tag and based on these choices, select the tag and pick this color called, let's pick this color. So that's our header color. Let's select site nav. Select site nav. Let's pick this darker color. Let's pick the aside tag. Let's pick the aside tag and pick this other color. This color. Let's pick the section tag. Select the tag. Again, rule one, or to affect the tag, you need to select the tag. So we're going to select the tag and we're going to make it, let's make it this color. Okay. Now, for visual reasons, we're going to make a slight change here. So this particular case, this is the D color. I'm sorry, this is the B color. No, that is the C color. We're going to double click C and we're going to change the color type to black because black's going to show up much better. Okay, white's going to look good for this tag. But why it's not going to look good for this tag, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for the D color. Let's make this type black. In fact, let's make it a dark gray. Okay, so I hope this helped on how I can sample colors, assign it to a class tag, and then assign those colors per page. So again, eventually, if I have many pages, the about page, the products page, the price page, I can simply go save as, save as, save as, tied to the same external style sheet, but each page can visually have a different color scheme because I didn't assign the tags with color. I assigned the color with class tags. Again, class tags are first defined, then they're assigned. They're assigned to something. So it's a very, very flexible way to do web development. So I hope this helps. You can continue on with this. You can place any graphic there. You can pick, put a photo there. You can take a color scheme from anything, copy and just sample by double clicking, going to the background color and sampling that color. So if I want to sample the orange color, I can just click right there. Simple, simple, simple. It's letting the software work for you. It's thinking Dreamweaver, thinking software, getting to think how the software thinks. My production techniques will make a better user out of you. So therefore you can get things done quicker, therefore you can charge more money. I have no shame in saying that I charge between $350 and $450 an hour to develop websites. But I do it very, very quickly because I use my time-tested techniques. So most people might think that's a lot of money, but if I can get a site done in two weeks where most people are going to take three months, well, that's why I do what I do. So enjoy the day. Carpe diem. Use these techniques. Subscribe to my videos. Uh, like this video. Go to my Facebook page, which is simply facebook.com forward slash think, learn, earn. There's, there's a link to that in the title description, in the description of this video. So it's just facebook.com forward slash think, earn, earn. The whole objective of my teaching is to get you to make more money through better skill set. Enjoy the day.